I'm Sonia and Georgia the Empress. So this is a collective reading for Aquarius. Welcome Aquarius. So don't try and force the crown to fit. It might belong to a different Empress. Know that this can be flipped around because it's a universal crown. And so that means um, don't only take what resonates and leave the rest with someone else. And that um, this could be flipped around with the person you're dealing with. Please don't uh, be scammed by scammers. Don't click on any links or pay anyone any money unless you approach me first. This is Mystic Dream of Tarot by Heidi Duress and Barbara Moore and Dr Rider Wake Tar Tarot by Pamela Coleman-Smith. So, Aquarius, things have been moving quite fast for you recently. Um, this is feminine energy here. That so This is your own card here. This is like a feminine energy. So this is Gemini, Aquarius or Libra. And this person can be quite cold and cutting with their sword. Quite um, harsh sort of tongue like, you know, someone that can go into battle but is a feminine energy. So this person can be quite harsh, quite tough. They can be quite intelligent. So they could have a job, job as a doctor or a you know lawyer so this is also your your card Aquarius but it looks like you could have been dealing with a, a Leo possibly or that you've had quite a lot of joy and happiness recently you could also have little children that you kind of like that you also have been thinking out about so you've had you also it looks like you've been dealing with this player energy here someone that rushes in and rushes out and they can kind of like be kind of inconsistent they're there one minute for some passion and some fun and then they're gone but it looks like that you're moving quite, you know, things are moving quite fast now. Uh, that you're kind of moving forward from this energy. And it looks like you're cutting them out as well with your sword. And you're focusing on joy and happiness. And you're really uh, going into this time where you're quite happy. And you don't really want to have this energy that's sort of not really consistent. And they're there for a short time and then they're gone. So you, uh, there's this empress who is here. There's someone that's got a good influence to look like for you. So this Empress. Who is this Empress? What is this Empress? This Empress is somebody that can give birth to new ideas. There's someone that is very, um, they're very abundant and they sort of know how to birth new things. So this could be someone that you know, like it, this person also embodies all the queens. It's this Empress energy. <clears throat> this is the Empress here. She has a beautiful crown, uh, firstly, but um, it looks like that you, that this could be a mentor of yours, this could be someone that's a teacher for you, or it could be you as well that like is this teacher or this this mentor for others, that other people, you know, see you shine in the light, you show the way for others, or well, this could be this empress, empress that you're thinking about as well, or that you're sort of like, that is your guide or your teacher, but this person as well, they could be a Virgo or a Libra, as well and so this is also Virgo energy so there's this um, person here as well who is a masculine figure so this person is a um, th they could be an it could be a healer so you, you could be a healer or and they could be Pisces Cancer Scorpio as well and that's so that's a masculine energy and this is like uh, this is like a passionate new beginning as well so um, so this is like you holding the magic wand in your hand that you are really manifesting this new beginning. So this is, even though this is a masculine figure here, you could be a female or a male as well and, and um, sort of embody this energy. Same with this one here, even though it's feminine energy. This is divine, divine feminine, but you can also still be a male. But it looks like that you are a mentor for others, that people look up to you, and that possibly that this Empress here is somebody that you are dealing with. It looks like it's someone that has a good influence in your life. So it looks like in the past you might have been someone that has become very financially stable, distant past. Oh dear, this is really kind of cool. Um, so... This is double confirmation. You've become very stable, very um, very financially stable. Somebody that is really good with their money. Um, this is like, this is Earth energy. So this is Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. So you have become very stable, really good. You have your own business possibly that you're doing very well. And this is double confirmation as well. So um, the distant past, you become very stable with your job. And you started this new beginning. You're really have built something new for yourself. And that other people look up to you as well. So you are probably this... Um, uh, a mentor to others where they like you've built this new beginning and you really are sort of um, 
making something new come into fruition and you've got other people helping you this is like happily ever after so in the past you also had happily ever after this is home family um, maybe children doesn't have to be but it's like very beautiful card this so you had happiness in the past you've had like the happy you know family the happy home you had the happiness and you were very you you have become very financially stable in the past it could have been somebody that was a um, masculine figure that you were working with even. So recently, immediate past, you've been stuck at this crossroads. You really haven't know which way to go and you're kind of like delaying moving forward. You kind of, you're kind of all in your head and you're not really sure which way to go. You've got a blindfold over your face, over your eyes, probably on your face too because of this recent times. Oh, wow. So this is definitely you. Something you've been going through. You've really been hard. It's been hard for you to move forward from this. You've been really trapped in the situation. You've been blindfolded. And you know, this is like double confirmation. So you've been really trapped sort of in your head. You haven't really known which way to go, what to do. You kind of like be stuck at the crossroads. But it's time for you to make a decision. Take off that blindfold. Take off your rose-colored glasses. Smell the roses or whatever and get ready to move forward. Because spirit here... Spirit is telling you that you have to move forward. This is a new pathway here. This is like you choosing to go down this pathway and that they've got your back as well. So Spirit's saying that the things are going to come, you know, to you and it's going to be quite smooth and you really are rising above this conflict or drama that you've had in the past and you really are kind of um, standing out. You might have a platform somewhere that people can see you that you're really doing very well for yourself. You're above the conflict and you are looking awesome there that you really are standing out and others are seeing you standing out. So that was double confirmation. You are stuck and you have to get ready to move forward. Pass, go and move forward. Crowning thoughts. So you're thinking about new love. So it's like you're trying to bring in some new love. You know, you're really thinking that you're ready for new love. Ace of Cups. Oh, you've had some heartbreak in the past, eh? You've had some heartbreak. So sorry. So this is new love. You know, you're really wanting to bring in this new love here. So you've had some heartbreak in the past. You know, this has been quite painful in the past. You've been thinking about this heartbreak a lot, you know, that you've had. And you're kind of like, but you're ready for something new. You've been thinking, um, so this is your card as well, Aquarius. So this is like, you've had your wish fulfillment um, in the past and this is like you're you're it's like it looks like you're getting wish fulfillment as well you've done the healing on yourself so you're really you're ready to move forward from this heartbreak you're ready to put that down it looks like you've got this feminine energy Pisces Cancer Scorpio this person could be a counselor so or a healer somebody that works with other people healing and you know you've got this wish fulfillment you're doing the healing and you've got you're, you're dipping your toe in the water which is like you know you're kind of like really feeling the spirit you're kind of getting more spiritual and you're really learning a lot more about yourself and this is you making that decision to walk down this new path and walking you know you've got the magic wand in your hand you've got the the wand so you really are deciding now to move forward and to find new love you have to move forward and let go of the you know past situations you got the wand in your hand you can let go of this heartbreak and you know drama or whatever it is and you can move forward because it looks like you are ready to move forward and that you are doing it but methodically you're moving forward slowly but methodically because you're very grounded looks like new love wants to come out for sure so this is a new cup of love so this is you moving forward very you're moving towards this love here you know you're moving for, towards this love and this equal give and take as well so it's very beautiful i'm really happy for you but you have to get out of your head and stop being trapped in this past situation you're keeping yourself trapped as a self-imposed prison it's time for you to move forward. Let, you know, take that blind to fall off. Cut yourself free from this. You've been up in your head. It's been self-imposed and you really are kind of keeping yourself stuck. So just move forward. You know, cut off that blindfold. Untie yourself because you're just, you're keeping yourself stuck there. That's you kind of staying there because there's a been ending in the past. This is a new, new beginning. See, this is you really, you know, walking forward into this new beginning. This is something that's new coming in for you. And it's new love that wants to come in, but you have to cut yourself free from this past situation. Really, um, you know, know that you're ready to move forward. So you're kind of fearing this new, you've kind of got this fear about um, 
happily ever after. So it's like you're almost like you don't believe that you deserve it or something. And or like you don't think that it's out there. But it looks like it is, and it's coming in. But you've kind of got a fear about it, so that's kind of what's holding it back in a way. Oh. Yes, so you're kind of fearing this, this happily ever after. This is like the happy everything, you know, the everything. Happily ever after, everything you can want. But it's like you're fearing moving forward. You're fearing letting go of this past situation, maybe. Um, and But you're doing the healing. You kind of are letting go, but you've just still got a lot of fear and holding yourself back, you know, feeling trapped from this past situation. And you're kind of still in a time of healing where you've had to go within. You're still needing to reflect on things. And this is you healing from this past heartbreak. Somebody else is watching you and they like they someone else has seen you and they're watching what you're doing. They're seeing you as their happily ever after. And uh, so like you so but it's like you're holding a lot of fear about the situation and this is you kind of rising above the conflict and the drama from the past. They see you standing out and they see you looking awesome and that seeing you as you know, that it's time for you to let go of the pe the fear of having this happily ever after because it's coming in for you somebody that is a knight in shining armor as well is coming in to sweep you off your feet and like really give you this beautiful um relationship that you are actually fearing so why is it that you are fearing this i really want you to sort of look look within and why see why are you scared of this because you deserve it just be to be happy you know so others see you as going within healing from this past situation where you have been hurt by this person. This is you really healing from this heart, heartbreak because this is four of swords, so this is three, so this is four. So this is after the heartbreak, you're going within, you're doing the healing, and other people see you healing. And that like this, there's this counsellor here, this person who's masculine figure. Um, maybe that has hurt you, put you in a third party, whatever it is. And so this place is Cancer Scorpio energy, and they are... Uh, someone that could be a counsellor or a healer but it's like maybe somebody you know, they could have hurt you and made you kind of like get feel quite stuck but like you're getting rewarded now once you move down this new path once you move forward from this heartbreak and you're going to get rewarded because you've done so well and you're always helping others as well so you will get rewards while others get punished for the way they've treated you hey, so you're hoping that you can move forward into this passionate new beginning. You're, oh, wow. So you're really hoping that you can move forward into this passionate new beginning. Because you've been quite wounded over this in the past. So you're really hoping that you can really pull this off and go into this new beginning. You're really needing to do the healing as well. And just keep on healing. Sort of like reflecting on what it is that's caught, kept you stuck. Keeping you, you know, heartbroken. What is it that you've that's happened that you've kind of... Um, keeping you stuck and this is the spirit that universe is giving this this coin this is a new beginning you can walk down this path there. it's a passionate new beginning and it's also very financially stable this is generational wealth this is wealth that's coming in for you that is very stable and it's like blessings to come you've got your own card for the outcome this is air sign energy so Libra Gemini Aquarius very intelligent person Okay, so this is somebody maybe that's been watching you. This could be your card because this is uh, Gemini Libra Aquarius. This person has been watching you. They've really been spying and sort of watching what you're doing. And they want to come in and speak to you. Mm, uh, so I'm not sure who that person is. You might know. But they. But it's time for you to take a leap of faith. And to kind of like move forward into this new beginning. And know that you can move forward. This person is very intelligent. So you could be this intelligent person. Knowing that you can actually have your own business. And you're very good in business. That This is a reunion as well. So you need to take this leap of faith into this new beginning. And um, rise above the conflict and the drama from the past. Someone that's been stalking you, watching you. Um, you know, they're kind of like doing stuff all the time to try and, you know, bring you down and kind of like keep you in conflict and kind of stuck. But you are cutting out these people from the past that have been, you know, hard hurting you and that you got the sword here, you know who you are and you're ready to jump into this new beginning and this is going to be a beautiful celebration, new happy relationship in the future that you can look forward to. Very happy for you Aquarius. Bye!